Welcome to the virtual college exploration for all North and South Carolina students sponsored by the Carolinas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenter at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the presenter cannot hear or see you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at cacro.org. That's C-A-C-R-A-O.org. This presentation is being recorded and will be made available uh, to be viewed within, um, on demand within about a week at that same website, cacro.org. I'd now like to turn it over to our presenter. Hello everyone, my name is uh, Caleb Southern. I am the Assistant Director of Admissions at Southern Wesleyan University, and I also work with our uh, transfer students uh, coming into university. I'm gonna share my screen here with you so that you can see um, the presentation that I have. And we have uh, just a couple videos here to get us started. So I'll let um, these play through and then I will begin uh, the presentation with some, some more details. Wake up and focus. What if there's a place for you? A place where you can dream higher, dream bigger, where your dreams and your future collide with God's vision and direction where thinking and doing go hand in hand with innovation. There's a place where real faith-filled community allows you to know and be fully known, where faith is filled to the brim. So full, they can wash away your doubts with certain leaders of the next generation are grown and where your story can be written and change the course of history. In that place, yo, that place, Southern Wesleyan University. Hi, this is University President Todd Voss, and I wanted to introduce myself and thank you for your interest in Southern Wesleyan University. Well, while during a pandemic may feel like a really strange time in history to be thinking about college, our experience this fall at Southern Wesleyan has shown our campus to be one of the safest places on the planet to live and learn. We prepared for whatever we had to do to keep our students and employees safe and protected. Our mission is about transformation, character development, and the recognition that college is about more than gaining knowledge or a degree. It is about gaining wisdom and the tools to make a difference in the lives of others. And if you're looking for a fresh start, especially now with so many anxious and pressing aspects of life, college is often considered the best place where a fresh start can occur. But at SWU, you get more than a fresh start. You have a shot at a new you, built around an intentional God-designed discovery process that zeroes in on your passions, your unique design, and your life calling. All because of the fact that we believe from the outset that it is not about you, it is about God. And when you focus on him, life becomes extremely vivid, very real, and definitely personal. You realize maybe for the first time in your life that you're part of something big. You're at a place that invests in the discovery of his plan designed specifically for you. You know, that's how warriors roll. Even in the middle of this pandemic, Southern Wesleyan has been moving forward with enthusiasm and big plans. We're celebrating our recent 10 year reaffirmation of accreditation, our first accreditation in nursing, and the development of many new academic programs and majors from bachelor's degrees to micro credential options, as well as another master's, this time in counseling and even a doctoral program in business. SUL has many unique experiential learning opportunities. Let me just share a few from student operated businesses on campus to serving in a specifically designed residence hall where select students mentor special needs friends in learning independence and finding employment. Our athletic program with 18 sports brings vibrancy and service to the campus. And unique programs like our One Life Gap Year discipleship option provides a new way to experience your first year in college. And how about campus development? Our digital media center located in the campus life building is now complete and supporting incredible experiential learning for our students in media communications. We're excited about the progress of our expansive mountain bike trail that will be certified for official racing in the whole southeast portion of the United States, as well as our renovation projects on the new Benson School of Business and the completed construction of our donor-funded clubhouse project on our golf driving range. All this to say, 
You could not have found a better time to look at joining Team Swoop. Our mission of impacting the world for Christ, our passion to develop leaders with character and purpose, and our incredible sense of community, all surrounded by innovation and a can-do spirit is setting Southern Wesleyan apart. Blessings to you on your college search. We are here to help in any way we can. So there are three things that we think set Southern Wesleyan University apart. Uh, these are the three pillars of uniqueness, as we call them. Uh, the first is inventive learning. And uh, this is uh, where we try to get students to get their hands dirty in their learning, so to speak. Um, so we don't, as Dr. Voss mentioned, we don't just uh, want to see students gain more head knowledge, but we want to see students apply that knowledge as wisdom. Uh, it, and um, as experience that they can take into the workforce. And so you can see there a list of, of a lot of different experiential learning experiences that we offer on campus. Um, our Blue Hill Coffee and Tea Company is a completely student run business and they all their um, all their leadership in there is um, our uh, business interns and you know marketing or human resources um, accounting and finance anything like that they get real world um, um, business experience in that we also have our co-vocational and three plus one uh, religion degree so religion students will take um, three years on campus and then their last year will actually be a placement within a church where they will be serving as um, a resident um, and an assistant pastor in that church where they will help um, uh, lead that church and maybe their youth group or uh, whatever their specialization is uh, within their religion degree, <clears throat> our criminal justice house. So it's a space where it's actually a former home that has been renovated and is now uh, used uh, for classroom spaces, fingerprint lab, firing range. Uh, there's all sorts of different things in there where we're trying to get our students to be engaged hands-on with their learning. Second is Faithfield Community. Southern Wesleyan University takes seriously our students' spiritual development. And so we believe that this really sets us apart um, from other colleges and, um, uh, and other universities. So you can see there are a list of some of the opportunities that are there, uh, chapel experiences, student missions that we ha have students go on if they're willing and able, spiritual emphasis week where we have uh, special speakers come in uh, to really hone in on uh, student spiritual development and to really help and guide them in that. Finally, uh, is contagious generosity. We believe that everything that is given to us is actually ultimately owned by God. And so we seek to help. Um, we seek to be generous with that because we believe that he's been generous by giving it to us in the first place. Uh, one primary example of that is our athletic facilities. Uh, they are all open to the public. Um, so you'll often see community members on our track um, using our athletic fields, using our tennis courts, uh, anything like that, that we have been given um, or been able to have, we try to get back to the community in that way. Um, we have a day of service where students um, no longer, um, where students don't have to go to classes on that day. They'll get chapel credit and they go out into the community and they serve in, in various different capacities to assist in the community and different projects that they might have there. Dr. Ross mentioned our Jericho project, which is an intentional housing opportunity for students, especially within our special education program where they live uh, and serve alongside students of um, students with special needs, our friends with special needs, and um, they get to serve them and uh, to lead and guide them as well. So you can see here the list of the areas of studies that we have at Southern Wesleyan. Um, our top five programs that I'll mention here, uh, especially for transfer students, uh, we have uh, the Division of Fine Arts, music especially, a lot of students come in with that and they also offer scholarships uh, in that program, which I'll hit on uh, toward the end of the presentation. Division of Religion, uh, the Science Division is um, in the top five, especially biochemistry or pre-med for students that are wanting to go into that. Uh, we did just launch a, a pre-pharmacy program and Southern Wesleyan is also getting accredited. Um, but we did get official accreditation um, for an RN to BSN program that we have. So if, uh, if you already have your RN degree and you transfer into Southern Wesleyan, you can get your BSN fully online. You can continue to be working. And then we're also launching a pre-nursing program for our uh, undergraduate students on campus. 
we also have the School of Business, um, which is in, in our top five, and then finally the School of Education. Uh, the School of Education is very popular here at Southern Wesleyan. All of our degree programs are highly, um, highly involved where students are getting into the classroom their first year in at Southern Wesleyan, and uh, so they're getting a lot of hands-on experience and um, really getting a chance to build relationships with different schools uh, that they might have. Southern Wesleyan has uh, three levels of business degrees now, undergraduate, master's, and we are starting in the spring our doctorate of business administration with an emphasis in teaching. So um, we, we do offer a significant alumni discount for students going from their undergraduate into their master's degree. I think it's somewhere around 25% for students doing that. Uh, so lots of opportunities there and it's got a really high um, job placement rate as well. And um, you can see a lot of our career outcomes on our website. Our fastest growing program right now is our criminal justice program. And uh, so for students that want to go into any type of law enforcement or really any field connected with uh, law enforcement or law, um, uh, things of that sort, that's a really popular, uh, popular degree. Our athletic programs at Southern Wesleyan University, there are 18. You can see them listed there at the top. Um, we have just about any that you can think of, except the two that often get asked about. We do not have football or uh, surprisingly wrestling frequently gets asked about, but we don't, uh, we don't have collegiate wrestling. We also offer in uh, all of our um, intercollegiate sports that I should mention, we are a member of NCAA Division II for athletics. So you can get scholarship to attend Southern Wesleyan. And we are also a member of the N. AIA, um, so we do, which is a local Christian, a, a regional um, competition organization, and so we also uh, we have different competitions that um, in different in those organizations that help maximize students' playing time. We also offer intramural sports, so these are uh, not intercollegiate sports, but just activities that we host on campus for students that um, want to participate in those. You can see a list there of some of the more popular ones, but they do all sorts of different things. And actually, this year they just started a bass fishing um, intercollegiate sport club, so that's that's really exciting. And I know a lot of our students. We have a lot of lakes here in this area, um, and so a lot of our students are really excited to to become to be a part of that and to. Um, uh, to participate in that. Campus life activities. Dr. Voss mentioned some of these in the video, but there's lots of things to do on campus and we really encourage our students to stay on campus and to explore the surrounding area. Um, Blue Hill Talk Coffee and Tea Company, as I mentioned, is a very popular place for students. We also have our Eno Hammock Park. So um, some pillars that are put up um, with hooks in them so students can hang their, their Eno hammocks. Our fine arts events that are hosted every semester on campus. We have 100 Acre Woods. Um, which is, as you may imagine, a hundred acre of woods. Um, and these now have a hiking slash biking trail that has been cut through them. Uh, we partnered with the town of uh, the town of Central as well as the city of Clemson to help get that um, to help get that um, orchestrated and to get that uh, cut through the woods and everything like that. And um, it will be um, an approved challenge course as well. They're working on getting that done. So it's had a lot of activity with people biking that, um, walking, hiking, things of that sort. Intramural sports, as I mentioned, uh, there's all sorts of different things to get involved in uh, with your residence hall, different community aspects on campus, students, clubs, and organizations. There's a partial list there that you can be a part of, but students are encouraged to start clubs that match their interest and um, just have to have a faculty sponsor, a staff or faculty sponsor and then get that approved by the student government organization. Um, so lots of different things that aren't even listed on that list that continue to, uh, to be developed and to be added. Spiritual life activities. So as I mentioned, Southern Wesleyan does take seriously um, a holistic uh, development of the student, not just the academics, but we do value our students' um, spiritual engagement and spiritual development. We do require students to attend 24 chapels a semester, um, and that's about half of the chapels that we officially offer. And um, we also encourage students to become a part of a discipleship group, so a small group that meets regularly to discuss. Um, you know, to discuss and challenge and encourage each other to grow in their in their spiritual faith and their walk with Jesus. Ministry teams is a unique opportunity that we offer every summer for students to travel um, and usually in groups of two guys, two girls that will travel in the summer. As I mentioned, they'll get a university van. They'll travel up and down the East Coast to different youth camps, uh, conferences and things like that to help um, with those in all sorts of different um, all sorts of different aspects um, with that. So uh, that's a great opportunity. There is a scholarship that you would get for that in the following year that you're enrolled at Southern Wesleyan. 
There's also a, uh, a stipend uh, per diem that you get during the summer to cover your, um, your costs over the weekend and stuff like that when the campus are providing things for you. You can also get involved with chapel um, worship and production, so serving on the back end there, global mission trips that we host for students, local mission trips, or not, not global, but domestic mission trips that we host um, when the um, when there was that hurricane that went through and hit Texas, we had students that went out there to help um, serve and to rebuild some communities out there during their spring break. Um, and then just by getting involved as well, just in the local area with local needs that, that students may um, face, we try to get students involved with that as well to help continue that, um, to help continue that positive engagement with our community. So here's some uh, brief information about the admissions requirements, and um, I will spend more time, since this is geared for transfer students, I'll spend more time going over the transfer requirements. Uh, and if at any point during this presentation, if there's anything you'd like me to further go over, just please send uh, the question in the Q&A, and I'll read those at the end and make sure that those get, uh, those get answered. So the transfer admissions requirements, all that we'll ask you to do is it's fairly simple. Just submit the um, application, the transfer application on our website. For the on-campus program, the, this application is 100% free. There's no application fee or anything like that. Uh, it shouldn't take more than 10, 15 minutes to complete. It's a fairly simple application. Uh, there is a lifestyle statement at the end of the application. So these are behavioral um, expectations that Southern Wesleyan has for our students. That's an outgrowth of our uh, beliefs and convictions. And so we just have students to agree to that. Uh, but other than that, it's a fairly straightforward and simple application. After that, we'll just collect uh, college transcripts from any previous institution that you have been um, a part of. And um, then we will award an academic scholarship that's based on the GPA and the number of credit hours that you complete or, or that you have completed. Again, that is the number of credit hours that you earn uh, at your institution, not the number that will transfer over. Um, I'll get a transfer evaluation done for you and we'll get that sent back to you as well that'll show how your courses will transfer over. We have very generous uh, transfer acceptance and most everything comes over and if it doesn't plug directly into your degree plan, it does come over as an elective, um, but we try to optimize that and really help make sure that students can get everything that they can plugged into their degree pro program to make sure that they're staying on track to graduate. So I want to spend just a little bit of time here on the scholarship and grant opportunities. Uh, so for in-state South Carolina students, um, these are the scholarships, the um, uh, in-state scholarship like Hope, Life, or um, Palmetto Fellows. We will honor all three of those. If you're transferring in, probably not um, going to get the Life, but you will bump up hopefully to the, I mean, sorry, you're not going to get the Hope Scholarship, but bump up into the Life bracket um, or be eligible for Palmetto Fellows. That ranges from 2800 to 6700 a year. We also have the in-state South Carolina tuition grant. This is our version of the lottery funds, and this is generally around 3300 a year per student. I do believe it's up to about 3,500 now per student. And this is a awarded based on the FAFSA, based on need, um, the expected family contribution EFC. And this is awarded on a first come first serve basis. So we're given the pool of money and once it's uh, used up, then there's, there's no more for that. So if you're thinking about coming for fall 2021, really encourage you to get that, um, uh, to get the FAFSA submitted at your earliest convenience. And um, our FAFSA code is 003422. Uh, we also honor the Pell Grant um, plus um, South Carolina Opportunity or um, the SEOG, which is additional grant money that you could be eligible for if you're eligible for Pell Grant, similar to the tuition grant funds. Institutional academic scholarship, that's what I mentioned previously, where we will award an academic scholarship based on your GPA and the number of credit hours that you've earned. This ranges from 2000 a year to 11000 a year. Uh, usually somewhere in averages usually ends up being about five or 6000 a year. I mostly see students coming in with about that much. SWU Fellows, uh, for any incoming student that is a Palmetto Fellow recipient, we will give them um, an additional $5,000 scholarship. Uh, so you'll get that on top of uh, the what you'll get from Palmetto Fellows, as well as academic scholarship. All of our financial aid stacks um, to go toward your uh, direct university cost. 
Um, and then you can see there on the right hand side there of the screen, there's a list of some other um, opportunities that we offer for scholarships. We have music ensemble scholarships, as I mentioned, if you participate in our choir or if in any of our music program uh, or in any, any of our music programs, you can be eligible for that. Athletic scholarships as a part of NCAA Division II, each coach is given um, a scholarship fund and they award that based on need. So there's opportunity there for that. Donor funded scholarships, people who donate money to the university um, and then ask that that money be used as scholarship for students. We do have several of those over 120 of them and they range in yearly price um, with the most being around 1500 a year. You can be eligible for more than one of those. Church matching scholarship. This is a way that Southern Wesleyan tries to partner with the uh, with students in their local church body. So we will match up to $1,000 of any funds given to a student by any denomination church. So uh, if your church has a scholarship fund, we encourage you to take advantage of this up to, um, we'll match up to $1,000 a year, 500 per semester. If your church gives more than that, you'll get to keep all the funds that they give as a scholarship, but we'll ma only match up to a thousand a year. Um, and then you can, the Palmetto Boys and Girls Stay grants and scholarships are only for incoming freshman students. Uh, we do have Call Me Mr. program for minority male students coming uh, into an education degree. This is um, a partnership we have through Clemson University. So you'll do that um, or you'll apply and receive that through Clemson. Campus Challenge is a, um, a scholarship opportunity that we have for you uh, to compete. It's sort of related to our fine arts scholarships, um, but this is where students can compete in various different categories, uh, writing, music. Um, there's all sorts of categories. I can't remember all of them off the top of my head, but you'll compete and you'll get scholarship funds uh, for competing and then various uh, increments for um, prize winners that are uh, then dispensed over the course of your four years at Southern Wesleyan. This isn't a comprehensive list. You can see more on our website that'll list some more opportunities that we might have. And uh, the best way to really dive in specifically to see what uh, you might be looking at as far as aid would be to make a campus visit or to um, to shoot me an email and my contact information will be at the end of the at the end of the presentation. Uh, Dr. Voss did mention briefly our One Life Institute. It's a, a gap year program. Um, I'd kind of like to call it a discipleship program because you do earn 30 college credits over the course of the program. So it's not, to me, it doesn't seem truly like a, um, a gap year program because you're actually still making progress uh, to your degree. Um, it's a Christian gap year program uh, for students that want to grow in their faith and experience. They emphasize real life skills. Um, um, the program coordinator for this often talks about a friend of his who uh, had a master's degree and was working on his doctorate and broke down on the side of the road and didn't know how to change uh, a flat tire that he had. So they really emphasize preparing students, not just for academic excellence, but also for whole life, um, uh, for whole life excellence. And this really uh, meshes well with the mission of Southern Western University. Uh, the One Life Institute has, you can transfer into that program. It is only one year long. Um, so sometimes um, in some cases we have had students transfer in for a year if they wanna take a break and really take some time to dive deep into scripture into their relationship with God to try to discover uh, maybe what their next steps are and where they're going from here. Uh, so for that program, you'll just submit the application, um, any transcripts or anything that we might need to collect from previous colleges or institutions for that. And then they do have some other materials that they collect, like an interview with a staff person. And um, uh, I believe that that I believe that's the main thing that's different. They just collect some interview and some other essay questions that they that they also have a, as a part of their application process. So here at the end of the presentation, I just want to have leave my uh, contact information slide uh, here. Um, again, my name is Caleb Southern. I am the assistant director of admissions here, and I work um, specifically with our transfer students to help make sure that the process is as smooth and simple for them as possible. Now, my email is there, csouthern at su.edu. Feel free to shoot me an email. Um, I try to answer those within a day um, or two, and um, we'll be happy to take a look at any unofficial transcripts or anything like that that you might have um, and would be happy to answer any questions that you might have about financial aid as well. My phone is listed there and then the link there for a campus visit is also listed if you have questions about um, if you have questions or want to schedule a visit to campus. We are hosting in-person visits and um, I am also doing one-on-one um, -on -one Zoom sessions with students who might want to uh, speak with with me personally uh, but aren't able to come to campus. So, 
Uh, at this time, that's the end of the presentation that I have. So I'll just leave, leave the floor open here for a couple minutes. If there's any questions or anything that you would like to send in the the Q and A uh, chat, I'll be happy to um, I'll be happy to address those over the presentation in person. Okay, well, I don't see uh, any questions coming through. So I do believe that there is one more slide at the end of the um, at the end of the presentation to wrap it up. And um, as you mentioned at the beginning, this will be available on recording. So if you have any questions after that, feel free to shoot me an email or give me a call. Thanks, everyone. All right. Thank you for joining us. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We appreciate any feedback that you can provide for us. Uh, also, this is just one of many sessions that are happening, so be sure to visit the full schedule at CACRAO.org, that's C-A-C-R-A-O.org. In about a week's time, this presentation, along with all the others, will be made available on that same website to be viewed on demand at CACRAO.org. Thanks again. Enjoy the rest of your day.